Matthew 24, 28, For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. Who is the carcass and who are the eagles? Now, that's a good question. Nothing wrong with that. What is the carcass? The carcass is what the eagles feed on. Now, an eagle is considered in the Bible a prophet. A prophet is the eagle. God, God calls himself an eagle, and we're eaglets then, the, the believers, you see. And what is the carcass that they feed on? Is the Word. Amen. Wherever the Word is, the true nature of the bird will show itself. <laughs> see? An eagle, which wants fresh meat. <laughs> he must have his fresh meat. He's not a, he's not a buzzard. He, he's an eagle. You can't give no denominational stuff to him. <laughs> he's got to have eagle's food. <laughs> That's the freshness of the meat. Not what Moses done. Not what somebody else done. Not what Sankey Finney Knox Calvin. But right now, Amen. the meat is killed for this day. Amen. That's the part of Christ that died to make this word be confirmed. That's what they eat on. Amen. Get it? Amen. Amen. Not what Noah done, what Moses done. They're examples. We've seen, read what they did. But it's what he promised to do now. He was the word back there. That was a carcass for that day. The day of... of uh, Wesley was a carcass for that day. The day of Luther was a carcass for that day. But they don't go back to that. That's already contaminated. What was left over must be burned to the communion even. Don't leave it for the next generation. <laughs> the Bible said when you're taking the communion, what's left over of it, don't even let it lay in the morning. Amen. Burn it. Amen. So refer back to that. No, sir. Amen. We got fresh food today. Amen. That's the word that's promised to this hour be made manifest in this hour. Amen. That's where the eagles are, where the carcass is. We can stay a long time on that, but I'm sh sure you understand what I mean. <laughs>